The discussion section is where you summarize what you found and what it means. In this section, you should emphasize what you learned, relate it to any questions raised in the introduction section, and note any implications of your results. First, summarize your results. Repeat information from the results section, this time using much simpler language and without any statistics. As you summarize your results, you should interpret them and comment on what they mean. Second, if you haven't already done so, connect your results to your research topic and the questions raised in the introduction. If you included a hypothesis, mention whether your results support or do not support your hypothesis. Third, describe any theoretical or practical implications of what you found. Does your study provide support for any theories or does it challenge them? Are there any potential real world impacts? These details should be discussed here. Fourth, describe any limitations of your study. Were there any areas that could be improved? Were there any factors that weren't completely controlled for and might lead to different conclusions? Most studies have one imperfection or two and it's good to describe them. Fifth, suggest future research. You might propose a study that explores new questions raised by your research, or a study that develops your research even further. It could even be a study that addresses some of the limitations of your work. And that's it. You now have all of the major sections of text in the research paper. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below. And for more on research papers, please visit the UCSD Psychology website.